made it to Pennsylvania, which is only like 10 miles away from home. But we are on the road. This is the very beginning of our epic adventure road trip all the way out to Arizona, Utah is the goal. Uh, we woke up this morning in hopes of leaving early, but as you guys might know, you can obviously see, we got hit with like a nor'easter, they're calling it. I didn't expect that. I thought it was just gonna rain. So it's five o'clock now, we finally dug out. I don't know if you've ever driven a rear wheel drive sprinter van in snow, it doesn't work. supermarket very nice lighting look at this perfect lighting the drive is going well so far we are at a what is it called a lion food lion in Virginia um, the drive started out really bad you know snow everywhere super sketchy in the van mobile but uh, after that we were hit by like 30 mile an hour gusts but now we're in Virginia and we're just gonna keep trucking along we're getting some breakfast food some food for dinner and uh, we're gonna go till about midnight tonight a couple more hours and uh, probably rest at a Walmart Ew, the fridge smells so weird. Like hot dogs? It smells like hot dogs. Oh, that's okay. Could use some ketchup, but that's about it. Update on the solar. Obviously, today it was snowy. We cleaned the snow off the panels. And then it was cloudy all day. Yesterday it was pretty cloudy. We're still sitting at 12.7 volts. Really, only the fridge has been drawing power. Pretty good for not having full on sun in two days. All right, heater's on. We're parked at a Walmart uh, in West Virginia. We made it about 300 something miles and this is where we're gonna spend the night. Surrounded by other fellow campers and RV enthusiasts. We got our covers so people can't peep on us. Oh, and also, so no one freaks out, I have a fire and carbon monoxide detector so that we don't die of carbon monoxide poisoning from the heater. But that's where we're gonna wrap it up today. We'll pick up tomorrow morning and uh, see where we end up. <music> Good morning, we are just getting our day started. Brewing up some coffee. I gotta give a shout out to my buddy Jeff back at home. Some of you guys know him. He got me two pounds of coffee for this trip. So thanks Jeff, I'm about to try it. Bad news this morning is we discovered the stupid fridge isn't working. I don't really know why. Um, I thought it could be the battery or charge controller. We're gonna try to diagnose that, see what's up and uh, if the fridge is actually broken, I don't know, we're gonna have to send it back and get a new one somehow. But it's all part of the adventure. All right, problem solved, the fridge is on again. Apparently somehow that red button got pressed. All you have to do is press that button again and she fired back up. So crisis averted, the fridge is working. <laughs> Boom, so 19 and a half miles per gallon. This is our first fuel stop. So not bad considering. Before uh, we got the trailer, I was averaging 22 to 24 miles per gallon. So 19 and a half, considering we have a trailer stocked with gear behind us, isn't all that bad. So we're gonna eat some cereal. Got the fridge working again. Um, and we're gonna get back on the road. I think Jacqueline's gonna drive and I'm gonna start editing the next video. Alright, Houston, we have a problem. We are uh, 
ironically in Texas, uh, Amarillo. And we got here last night, parked in the Walmart, slept overnight. And this morning, the van was just making a lot of noise, uh, more than normal. So I'm filling up with gas now because we got the gas light on. But check out what's going on underneath. So that is obviously not good. Got a major problem there. I uh, just discovered this like just now. So I really don't have any idea what we're gonna do about it yet. I'm gonna Google an exhaust shop. Um, it still drives and it still has plenty of power, but obviously we don't wanna continue driving it like that. So I am going to break the news to Jacqueline because she just got in from the bathroom. Jacqueline, guess what? What happened? Our exhaust is fucked. Wait, really? It's literally broken off. No, it's not. Lay down. Oh my God. Yeah. Do we have any glue? Well, I'm gonna do some Googling and we'll uh, play it by ear. Got some exhaust. I have a 2006 Dodge Sprinter van um, that needs an exhaust repair and we're actually driving cross country right now. I wanted to see if you guys had any availability of the soonest time I could get it fixed up. Oh, we can check it out then pretty much any time you bring it. Okay, I'll swing by in 10-15 minutes. All right, update, the van is in, and luckily this place is pretty legit, I think. they I was like doubting that they'd have a lift big enough to lift the Sprinter van and like not hit the ceiling, but they do, so that's good. Um, the flex joint was also apparently leaking, so they're gonna fix that also, weld up the exhaust, and we should be on the road in like an hour. So we'll see if it's like 10 times quieter than it was this whole time. All right, we just got her out. Shiny new weld there. New flex joint. I think we're good to go. One of the major benefits of having a hefty inverter and solar power, Jackie can curl her hair as they're just freaking rolling down the road. <laughs> just arrived at our first location. We're finally done driving. It's been a crazy like four day journey, but we got here. This is Meteor Crater. I wish I could show you guys around, but it's pitch black out right now. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, hit that button. Tomorrow we are going to be flying this site. The weather looks good. It's a little bit cold, but we'll make it happen. It's going to be awesome. So stay tuned for the next episode. Huge shout out to the Patreons. You guys seriously rock. Always keeping us alive and uh, helping out with the freaking exhaust repairs when it happens. So, till the next one, I'll see you guys. Peace out.